Lubbock Tractor Power fans, this video comes to you from a western Kentucky field where a Ford 9600 tractor is harvesting watermelons. This video will share the tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag, as well as taking a look at the watermelon harvesting and sorting process. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this big blue tractor at work. Here we can see the watermelons out in the field. They have been pre-picked and lined up here on top of the drip tape. And now they'll be harvested by hand and loaded up here where the Ford 9600 is pulling the trailer. The 9600 tractor was manufactured by Ford Motors at its Romeo, Michigan tractor plant from 1972 through 1976. It's powered by a Ford 6.6 liter, 401 cubic inch six cylinder diesel engine rated at 135 PTO horsepower. Customers ordering a new Ford 9600 could choose from two different transmission options. The first was Ford's dual power partial power shift transmission with 16 forward and four reverse speeds. The second transmission option is a gear drive with eight forward and two reverse speeds. Customers ordering the 8-speed transmission could save $550. The 9600 features a dual-speed PTO with 540 and 1000 RPM speeds available. The tractor is equipped with a 43-gallon diesel fuel tank, and from the factory it weighs in at 10,480 pounds and can be field-weighted up to 14,000 430 pounds. The field weight package on this tractor was optional. Customers looking for a full weight package including front weights and rear wheel weights would pay an additional $709. Customers looking for just front end slab weights would pay an extra $342. The 9600 featured in this video is a Ford dual power transmission model and its original price tag was $17,340. It doesn't take long to fill all the crates on this trailer. It only took a partial pass across the field. Now it's time to head back to the farm and prepare the watermelons for market by cleaning, sorting, and packaging them.
So this is the sorting process? Yes, so right now they've got some uh, seeded watermelons that we just picked and gotten back here. Um, and they're cleaning them up. And uh, when they clean them, they give them to the guy who, you know, like right there, he's, he's putting the bin, he's keeping count. And at the end, you know, anywhere from 35 to 60 count, it just depends on the, the variety. But anyway, they'll mark that. And that way we know how many's in that bin whenever we take it. Okay. Over there, they've got some seedless, a different variety. Of so that's a darker green than seedless. Yes. We're here with Courier. We had visited during the wheat harvest. You're out driving the grain cart in the big thousand acre field. Today, we're doing something a little bit different on your home farm uh, with watermelons. Yep. So what, we see watermelons at the supermarket and what what's happening with the watermelons here on your farm? And Okay, so, um, you know, this is kind of the, the, the beginning of it all. Um, we've got a, uh, about four acres out there right now that uh, we run drip tape to and irrigate out of the watering hole that we have. Um, uh, obviously, we, we spray it. Um, once or twice throughout its life. Uh, today we picked about, I don't know, uh, a couple couple thousand melons. Um, and this is this right here that's going on. This is the, the sorting and cleaning process. So they just wipe them down and sort them into different bins. And as you see here, this one is kind of a, the, the larger variety. So in a bin like this, we'd only have to be able to get about 30 to 35 count in here. Whereas, you know, a different variety that was smaller uh, like those seedless melons, you know, we, we would have, you know, close to 50 or 60 uh, seedless melons to be able to, to put in there to take to auction tomorrow. So um, you've got a little bit of everything. But. So these actually go to auction? They don't just show up at your supermarket? Yeah. Or no, do, does a supermarket right. buy them or a farmer's market? or? But, so uh, we're going to take them to uh, an auction facility that, uh, you know, they'll, they'll sell tomorrow and the next day. And... Uh, you know, the big contract buyers from different states, you know, like right now, uh, Georgia and Kentucky are been, we're able to, to get these melons picked and, and sold. Whereas, you know, here in a week or two, Indiana will be having a whole lot more. So we're kind of right in the middle of it. Um, but all these big contract buyers from out of state uh, is pretty much where this is going. So who knows where this will end up, basically. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go hop on the 49600 and get at it. Sounds good. Hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this big classic Ford tractor from the 1970s. I'd like to hear if you use Ford tractors on your farm. What model are you running and what type of jobs do you do with it? Let me know about it in the comment section below. And if you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.